Hey everybody and welcome to this Python, I know, actually Arduino tutorial video. Uh, so today I'll be showing you guys some traffic lights or something like that. Uh, traffic lights. So basically like you're going to be had two red LEDs, one, no, two red LEDs, two green LEDs and two yellow LEDs and we're going to do a traffic light. So stay tuned for that. Also, if you haven't installed Py Arduino already, go check out my uh, Arduino tutorial video number one. And I show you guys step by step how to install Arduino. So open your uh, Arduino sketch and make sure you have a, f a new file, new sketch. So you have it prepared and then we're going to go through the hardware first because I like going through the hardware first. And yeah, so open that up. <clears throat> and just wait a little bit. Computer is getting slower and slower every time. Um, I'm just skipping, come on. Alrighty, so... Okay, so let me just talk about the, the stuff you need for this tutorial. So you're gonna need two red LEDs, two green LEDs, two yellow LEDs. Um, that means for each LED, there's gonna be a 220 ohm resistor that will be, that will be six 220 ohm resistors with a bunch of jumper, jumper, <coughs> jumper wires our breadboard and an Arduino Uno. Okay, guys? So, I'm just going to go new sketch and open that up. So, that will be pretty much it for the intro. Let's go and, and check out the hardware first. I'll see you guys there. Okay, guys. So, now that uh, so now let's let's do the hardware. So, first of all, let's take the red LED. All right, let's plug that in or right, put that in the breadboard. Positive leg uh, positive leg in the front. For all of the red, for the, all of the LEDs, okay. So guys, guys, so red LED in the front. So then there's a there's a one point space between all the LEDs. So there's red LED one point space, red LED one point space, yellow LED one point space, and then so on and so forth. So then continue. So I put the two LEDs, and then let's do the green LEDs. Oh, it doesn't want to go in very well, does it? And okay, now then do that and get to yourself the last green LED and plug that in. Make sure there's a one point space. So now let's grab the 220 ohm resistors, and you'll need six resistors for six LEDs, right, guys? Resistor every LED. But first of all, let's plug the ground pin. To the vertical, to the vertical breadboard um, section, so to the minus section, so that all of the minus section is not connected to ground, so we don't need uh, to connect it to ground ourselves. So now we just need to connect it to the vertical uh, section. So now let's take a 220 ohm resistor, and I'm trying, I'm trying to connect it vertically, but that's not going to work. So I'll find another solution. I'm going to connect it horizontally, guys. So now I'm still trying to connect it vertically, but that's not going to work because it's too small of a space for the resistor. So I have another idea. I have another idea. And by the way, the resistor connected to positive pin to the positive leg of the LED, and the leg of the positive leg of the LED is in the front. So now I just connected it for the red LED, connected connected it, and then connected it to the other side of the breadboard, and I did that for every every LED. So connect it to the positive leg, and then do that for all of the LEDs. Connect that positive leg. Make sure you guys can put it positive leg. So connect that, and connect. Do that for all of them. So make sure you're well connected, and make sure it's a 220 ohm resistor. So uh, the band is red, red, brown. And gold at the end, but that doesn't matter that much. But yeah, kind of it does matter a little bit. But I know I already know how to calculate resistors, but I'll show you guys later how to calculate resistors. So do that for every resistor because every resistor needs, or uh, every LED needs a resistor, or else it's gonna it's gonna burn out. So there you go. All of them are good. So I'm trying to like put them a little nicer like that. Now let's connect them to ground yeah let's connect it to, to ground the ground so the leg negative the negative leg to ground and then I, I, I forgot that 
I just connected it to vertical pin, so I'm just gonna connect it later. You're gonna see. There you go. Now I connected the ground there. No, ground is there. There you go. And then I do that for every single one of them. Connected them to ground. So uh, an LED needs to be connected to a pin and ground. So yeah. So do that for every single one of them. And then we're gonna connect the positive leg of the LED to a pin. So let's do that. But now, right now, we're connected to ground. So follow along. Hopefully, you're following along. By the way, hope I don't think like I have like five viewers every video, but I mean it's fine. <laughs> um. So yeah. Now we connected them all to ground. And now let's connect them to pin. So I connect them to pin two to seven. So that's six pins. Pins. So, so first, first one is the green, and that's gonna be connected to pin two. So, by the way, that's positive. That's the other leg of the resistor that was connected to the positive leg of the LED. So that's connected to two, and then the other green leg is connected. The other green LED is connected to pin three, and until pin seven. So I do that for every single pin. So make sure to have it right nice. And clean, even though mine is not that clean because I was not expecting that. But yeah, so uh, it gets a little messy, but it's fine, guys. Don't worry about it. <laughs> I'm stepping you th step by step. So do that for every single one of them. Connect them to pin two to seven, starting from a green pin to two, and the last red pin to seven. So and then last pin. And pin seven, and there you go. You're ready to light it up. So yeah, that's ready to light it up. Just showing you an overview of it. So this, yeah, yeah, nice, 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 nice. And yeah. So now it works. So as you can see, the red LED is lighting up for 15 seconds. If you you want, if you can speed it up, I mean, you can speed it up. Just speed it up because you're gonna see. And so it's gonna light up for 15 seconds. So, okay. So and then yellow pin for three seconds, and then green pin for 15 seconds. And that's the project. You just made a traffic light. Congratulations. Uh, it's one of your most basic projects. So, okay, guys. So now that you have set up the hardware, let's go into the software. So I'm gonna get to clear a couple of variables. So let's go in here over the void setup and let me declare a lot of variables. So first variable is going to be int red pin one pin one because we have two red pins and then that's going to be equal to seven and then int red pin two equal to six and yellow pin one equal to five and yellow pin two equal to four <coughs> and green pin one equal to three and int green pin two equal to two so that's gonna be eight so the first red pin is equal to seven red pin two is equal to six and so on and so on so <coughs> then we're gonna clear int delay time and that's gonna be in mi mi milliseconds that's gonna be 15,000 because like, you know, normally when there's a red light or green light, it's 15 seconds, well, in my opinion. But when there's a yellow light, I I'm thinking about what? Three seconds yellow light. So int delay time number two, and that's gonna be 3,000 because that's like three seconds. So yeah, so between red and green, it's gonna be 15 seconds. Between yellow, it's gonna be 3,000 or uh, three seconds. So void setup and we're gonna declare everything. So pin mode red pin one output. Then I'm gonna take that, copy that, and I'm gonna paste it five times. One, two, three, four, five. There we go. And then change that. And then change that. Yellow pin, and then that yellow pin two, and then green pin, 
uh, one and then green pin two so yeah that's going to be pretty much it for the void setup everything is in the output everything is fine so let's come in here and whoopsies i'm taking that with me let's go here to the void loop and what we're going to do is going to okay so what we're going to do is going to light up the red light for 50 seconds stop and then yellow three seconds stop and then green, 15 seconds, stop, and then continue with the red, and then loop. So let's start. Digital rate. Whoops. Digital rate. Digital rate. And then red pin, right, guys? Red pin. One. High. And then red pin one high. Let me copy that. And then that. And then we're going to do a delay. 15 seconds so delay delay time make sure to have variables not constants or ints i mean because like you could just change it there so make sure to have variables variables very important so yeah and then turn it off remember to turn it off because then it's just gonna stay on so take that i'm gonna take that and then paste that in and put low 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 so then we just did the red so now what what it does it's light lighting up red for 15 seconds and stop and it continues to do that but now we need to light up yellow so let me just take that copy that and then paste that in and then change it to yellow all right you guys following in so yellow 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 and yellow, and that is gonna be delay type two because we're not gonna put yellow for 15 seconds. That doesn't happen. So it's three seconds, and then we're gonna take that and we're gonna do the same thing for green, but 15 seconds delay. So then, green, 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 two. Their time green green all right so now it gets pretty messy so let me just do a comment for red lights up 15 seconds and then the comment yellow lights up for three seconds and then let me do another comment uh, green lights up for 15 seconds and then loop all the time so yeah so that's gonna be pretty much it so now you check if it's good plug in the port and you guys ready to go i'm gonna show you the ending result in the next video so guys uh if you enjoyed so subscribe like uh put on the notification bell because when I upload, you're going to know it and it's going to tell you. So subscribe. It really helps me out. Like my videos. And I will see you guys in the next video.